Hello, hola, welcome back to Color and Canvas. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a strainer pour and this is a uh, courtesy of Janet Nagorski. I posted a picture the other day of my little work basket and asked people what they thought I should paint today and Janet said do a strainer pour and then wreck it. So that's what we're going to do, a wrecked strainer pour. I don't have a comb so I'm just going to wreck it with this little plastic knife. So I have a 9 by 12 canvas, my little sink strainer, and I've mixed up just a few different colors of, they're sort of pastel, have kind of a lavender color, sort of a medium blue, maybe a little tint of green, kind of a dark aqua, some mixed red, this is yellow and gold mixed together, and that's a little thicker than I want it to be. So I'm just going to use my little spray bottle. A little better. And my white. It's plain old titanium white. And I have a little bit of extra white base coat in case I need to put some around the edges before we tilt. So we'll just get started. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this base through to begin because it's going to go through to the edges anyhow. But it'll just be the first paint out and it'll be the white. It's a little bit thinner so hopefully it'll get everything moving well. All right, where do we begin? Let's start with the blue. I'm just going to pour it right in the middle. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of white in between all of these colors. Just a bit, not too much. I think we'll go with our lavender. A little drop of white. I don't see anything. It's just starting. It's just starting. A little bit of our red. It's a real mustardy color when you mix that yellow and gold together. I really like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep color. Coming out. And I don't have enough white paint, so I'm just going to use the paint from my little squeeze bottle here to do the in-betweens. It's a little bit thicker. I hope it doesn't mess things up. But we're committed now. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. I really do. Plus, we're going to wreck it anyhow. That's part of the plan. How are we doing? It's coming out. Can you see it coming around the edges? Looking good. Oh, there's a bit more left in the bottom of the cup. Let's use that. I apologize for the traffic sounds in the background. There is a lot of activity in the neighborhood today. Let's scrape out the rest of our blue.
almost forgot our white in between. And then the rest of our beautiful, beautiful yellow gold. We just purchased a beautiful vacation home here in Merida. And part of that will be that there's an art room in there for me for when we're here on vacation. So I'm very, very excited. And it's in a much quieter neighborhood, so we're not gonna hear the trucks every time I do a video. So yay. <laughs> okay. It's looking good, it's all coming out nicely. And I'm going to have to lift up that strainer because it's really kind of stopped at this point. Nothing else is coming out. And so I have my paper towel ready to catch the drips. So I'm just going to lift it up very slowly. to let that paint drain out. And when I can see the bottom of the strainer, then I'll lift it. Okay, we didn't get our yellow. I might have gone a little too quickly. Oh, that looks so pretty. Are we sure we want to wreck that? That looks gorgeous. Janet, are we sure we're wrecking this? Got to unlock my torch. Always keep your torch on safety when you're not using it. So here we go, shall we wreck? I'm doing the how am I gonna wreck it dance. I like that. Maybe one more, oh, I like that. And we'll kind of go through the sides a bit. I think that's enough. I don't think we need to do anything more to it than that. So I'm just going to put a bit of paint on the corners so that we can conserve some of this beautiful, beautiful shape that we have. And that's all going to pour off. I'm just going to use my swipe knife. Oh, look at the beautiful rainbows that it's making. Isn't that pretty? Just use my little swipe knife here just to get the canvas covered. It paints close enough to that corner. We're not going to have any problem with that. All right, here we go. Just going to go side to side a little bit. Corner to corner. Ooh, I love how that looks in the middle. I think that's gorgeous. Okay, let's go. Let's pour off a corner. Whee! <laughs> you guys tell that I like pouring off the corners. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to go corner to corner. And then our third corner. Ooh. 
into corner number four. And I'll try and get that beautiful white detail kind of centered just because I really like it and I think it kind of belongs in the middle. And see what happens to everything else when we do that. That's kind of what happened to everything else when we did that. I like it. It's kind of breaking, the paint's kind of breaking up over there. Something about the white. That may have been the thinner white base coat that we did. But the middle part looks amazing. Ooh, that white paint. This is a mixture of paint that I used because I ran out of the paint that I normally use and I kind of mixed together some Mexican craft paint with what I had left and it's kind of kind of misbehaving, but you know, it's making a lot of interesting kind of cells and lacing where it's hitting the other colors. So that's kind of unique as well. I'm going to give that another torch because I can definitely see some air bubbles in there. And I'm thinking this lavender one, I think, shall I wreck it some more? All right, so I think I need to change up a little bit what's happening with that lavender. And so I'm just gonna take my little tool here and run through it, through the red, and just do that. I think I need to do that through those. I like it. I like that extra dimension that it adds, especially with the red. Interesting how that white is making those paints blend and break up. Well, you know what? It's all good. I think we're going to leave it. Yeah, we're going to leave it just like that and see how it dries. These colors are going to be so much deeper when it's dry. But that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Thanks, Janet, for suggesting it. And uh, yeah, you know, it's fun to collaborate with people, even if they're far away. I hope that this encouraged you to have some fun. Go, you know, wreck a pour, pour through a strainer, have some fun, make some art, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.